Okay, here we are back. Day number three, number three in the big five of the things that you need to be a successful business. I'm going to just quickly recap the last two days, the last two videos. Maybe you saw them, maybe you didn't, but go back through the feed and find them. Number one is your brand. Number two is your assets. Today, we're going to be talking about your leads. What do we mean by leads? Well, there is a pool of potential customers out there that need and want your product and or service. They're there. You just need to attract them. So when we have a consistent brand that is going to resonate with people, we have assets that have been developed that are speaking to those pain points that are going to attract them. Now we need to generate leads. Now, you can say, you know what? I'm not going to do any online advertising, right? That's not for me. I don't want to give Facebook. I don't want to give Google money. You know what? That's your prerogative. But I am going to say that you absolutely need to do online advertising. That is where people are getting their content. That is where you can best present your assets. And it doesn't mean that you're locked into only doing Facebook or Instagram for advertising. Online advertising shows up all over the place. There are websites that are embedded with ads for products on the Google network, on the Facebook network, that aren't just in the Facebook platform feed. There's news sites where your stuff can show up. There's YouTube where people are. There's different ad networks in your community, whether it's at your doctor's office, where there's screens, like these are all digital methods and these are things that you need to think of is how do you get your branding message in front of people? Where do you drive them to? If you're, let's say an HVAC company, maybe you just want to get the phone to ring, right? So your main messaging is, hey, call this number, right? Book your free quote. Right? Or maybe you're driving them to the website and you've got a free asset that is on there that you developed that speaks exactly to the desire, the pain, the need that you have. But attracting them is just the first part. Once you get them to take action, once they say, okay, I'm now aware that you exist. I'm now aware that you have a potential solution to my problem and I'm going to lean in and I'm going to either call email, opt-in, whatever that is, you need to follow up with them. And just having a web form on your website that comes in your email and hopefully, you know, Sally or John that works at your, at your business, when they come in, they'll see the email, they're not bombarded by a bunch of other stuff and they can promptly get back. No, wrong idea. Automation. You need in today's world to have a marketing CRM that will automatically deliver upon what it is that people want and will begin to nurture them. This will set the step in the sand. I don't know if that's even a phrase, but that's going to mark that beginning of this relationship. Your relationship started actually when they first saw your brand, right? But now they've, they've extended the olive branch and they've asked for help whether they said, hey, I want to work with you, or they just said, hey, I'm interested in, in learning a bit more, they're interested and we need to nurture them. We don't spam them. We don't blast them. I absolutely hate that term, blasting, right? I hear people say it when they're doing marketing and they say, we're going to email blast somebody. That is such an abrasive term. We need to build that relationship. We need to deliver what it is and we need to understand our client's journey. You need to understand if they came in because, you know, they, you know, let's just say, you know, you're, you're an HVAC company. And I'm saying that because I'm recently working with, with a couple of them. Um, and you're promoting heat pumps, right? That is the main thing that you're trying to sell uh, to them. Well, if you're developed a guide on how to choose the right heat pump for your house, and that's on your website and people opt into it. They're doing that because they have a need. Either their, their energy costs are too high um, and or they're using oil or something and they want to convert to a better uh, energy source. Um, so it could be obviously the cost. It could be because there is also um, other issues with the house. So maybe even though you're not selling other services, you might want to come up with a nurture sequence that says here are also you know, a checklist of 20 things that you can check around your house that will help you become more energy efficient and, 
you know, save save your money, right? It could be, you know, check your drafty windows. It could be check for, you know, certain things. Like maybe you got leaky taps and your, your, your uh, well pump is running. Like there's a bunch of things that you can do. But what you want to do is you want to help them, right? And you want to nurture them because you're building that relationship, right? Think of that friend who is always there for you. No matter you know, what you you ask them to do or help with, they're always there, no questions asked, right? That's the type of person you want to be. And you also want to be the person that maybe when you come over to help you, let's say, move a couch, right? And when you're there, you're like, hey, you know what? Why don't we move that old junky piece of, of deck that's sitting out back? It's been there for three years. I'm here. I'll help you with it. And they're like, yeah, hey, let's do that, right? You're, you're helping them. Right? Not just in that one thing that they're asking for, because that's going to help you build that relationship. And the only way to do that is with a properly set up system and process. And again, automation is huge, right? I've got this little sign here. I wrote it on here. Automation saves time. Time equals money. This is key. Right? There are so many things that you are doing every single day in your business not only just following up with leads and trying to remember to send them other information, but even little mundane tasks that are happening, whether they're weekly, daily, monthly, that can be automated, right? Can help you with your leads. So do you have a system like this? Do you have a way to deliver that initial relationship building process? And maybe you don't have assets yet. Maybe you're just the first video you saw that I posted and you're like, hey, I'm, I don't even know what you're talking about, uh, Mr. Marketing, Mr. Sean. Like, what are you talking about assets? Well, if you've got a contact form on your website and people fill that out at, let's say, 11 o'clock at night and they've got a question and maybe you're you're out the next day or you don't follow up until mid-afternoon. Well, if there's nothing in place to get back to them and even set that initial expectation, Right? If I come to your website and fill out that form with a question and I don't hear anything, I don't get an email back, maybe I'm thinking, maybe it didn't go through. Or maybe they're ignoring me. They don't need my business, so I'm going to look somebody else up. And there is a statistic on there, I don't know off the top of my head, um, especially in the service industry, that the one that responds first most likely gets that business because people want a response. So maybe you can't respond right away with a personalized, actual live human response, but you can set an expectation. Hey, thank you for submitting your question on our website. We generally respond within the next 24 hours. Uh, things are busy, that type of thing. Or we check our messages at noon and at four o'clock. So expect a response at one of those times, right? So now I'm not going expecting the next morning at eight o'clock that you're gonna have a response in my inbox because you've set that expectation, you've built that relationship a bit stronger. And it's gonna build into the next part, number four, oh, four, not five, uh, number four, which is the relationship and how we can build that stronger so that your business grows and thrives. So check it out, the video will come out tomorrow. We're gonna to talk about relationships.